welcome back to my channel hashtag analytics okay for this vlog share to you what are the requirements and what are the techniques about this particular integration okay so let's introduce my classmate mr joseph domingo give us some highlights of this what they call this integration job so as a person working with integration the following you must uh, you must have at least uh, have the following skills. Number one, the most I require when I'm finding people is their analytical skills. Uh, analytics! Oh my God! <laughs> okay. 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 So analytical skills because um, we know there are lots of graduates here, but they are not that much in analytics. They okay. just got, uh, most of the integration uh, programming language we're requiring are either the following. Number one, number one of the language that we are requiring is C. Okay, so I'm teaching C. Okay, C is still in. Yes, yeah, C. Okay. Plus. The other one is uh, Java or C sharp. Mm, Java, Java C sharp. So we are on the right track. Okay. Yeah. For the web part, you must uh, at least know how to talk about JSON. Mm -hmm. uh, these are formats, uh, types of formats of uh, files uh, and data files, uh, JSON files, CSV files, XML files, because our, these are the data that can be understood by the uh, machines. Mm -hmm. I'm not going to deal too much with the loop level part of the machine because you need to learn the capability. What the, what is the possible way for you to communicate with that machine? Fortunately, fortunately, yeah. yes. What's that? Uh, fortunately, fortunately, the developer of that machine was able to provide me an integration through API. Okay. Through API. Okay. Using an Excel format, mm -hmm. so it's very easy. I just have to feed in value for the XML. The machine works. So that's very easy. I don't have to go low level. That's why I mentioned that the file format that you need to know when it comes to integration is either CSV, okay. JSON file, XML file. XML is uh, much more behind already. The one we have right now is JSON format. I'm thinking of other aspects of integration. So, there, like for example, are the the of integration. Yes, what are those integration? Way? Okay, let's, maybe we can describe that by category. Okay. Number one category is when we're talking about data integration. Data integration can be done through database to database. You don't have to create any application for that. Yes. As long as you have, as long as you know the term link server for the database, then you can link two database together, three database together, four database together without creating any application. When it comes to integration with our clients, most of them, they are using either Oracle or SQL servers. So we don't have any problem. I said they have the same uh, fields, yeah. right? Or if you don't want to do it that way from database to database, you can export their data from Oracle, export to Excel. Then you just have to upload it to your another database. Another one is, uh, I've talked already about the a machine to an application, right? Uh, when you know about the XML, JSON format, CSV formats, and that and that machine provided you an SDK or an API, then it's very easy. All you have to do is to read the documentation. This machine might be talking about the CSV files, and this machine might be talking about JSON files. Those two versions of files are no longer the same. Yes. You have to create an application that will interpret Combine them. Later. Yes. Okay, there's an analyzation of that in depth. Yes. Okay, but what the other one? You know, you machine, must learn how to read application. Okay. You what must else? learn how to read the technical, the technical documentation. documentation. Because in the office, there is what we call a department research and development. Okay, I'm, I'm, I'm the head of the RD. Mm -hmm. Okay, so before they partner with a certain machine or they, before they partner with a certain provider, it has to go to my RD department. If oh, okay. my R and B said no, we're going because to you have already it. set the limit. Yeah. Oh. Because at the end of the day, output of my R and B team is just to provide a recommendation. 
I have uh, three IP, mm. I have uh, two CS, and I have uh, one MIS. What are their job? Their job for the IP people, they're the ones who create the application. Because I, well, we know, we know in the in the academy when it comes to IP, they are all dealing with applications. Mm -hmm. But they don't deal much with the low level of the application. So I have the two CS guys who is doing that. Mm -hmm. They're the ones. Who, so when the management chooses the machine that is low cost, but you have to learn about the low level language. And that's the okay. That's so that's the CS task. Yeah, and they are going to create an application that is much more easier to understand by the Okay. That's their job. That's their job. And my okay. MIS one actually is just so purely documented those processes. Which that among those programs get the higher pay? The CS. The CS. Okay, the CS. so you draw because uh, CS you know. Program. You know the task of CS is much more about analysis. Uh, if you are a CS uh, student, so I agree you need to learn about algorithms. Yes. Algorithms. Algorithms. If I have to choose what language I prefer C++. Uh, Why? Because C++, they have, it's very powerful when we are talking already about ports of your PCs. You can control it much. And so, what the advantage of you know uh, uh, those schools are uh, preferred to use Python than C plus plus? To give you, to give you uh, in the US, the top three schools: Stanford, uh, which one? Oxford, and I don't know the other one. Harvard. Uh, maybe yes. Their basis for any program language is C plus plus. That's why. That's why we learned. Within your community, this three. If you're a graduate of this one, you can apply this one. Mm. If you're outside of this three, you cannot simply apply with this three uh, big schools because uh, their knowledge is, uh, I think, the requirement is different. Maybe. But you know, during the application process of every student, right, the privacy video, nobody knows about C. Oh, even the great basic? Are the, you sure? They, they know the basic. Such as the grouping. Yes. But when you're talking about algorithm in C++, because honestly, in the Philippines, it's only a few companies who are dealing much with research. Yes. Diba? Mm -hmm. It's only a few. So, ang panungdam is most of our graduates, even if they're CS, they become an IT developers. They can develop that way. Because so, they have a lack of uh, research skills. That's, that's, the, that's the point. So that's that's my CS guys uh, are doing. That's why I pay them much more high. Much more because, uh, than they, I. Think. They have the, the scale where they can make different things. Okay. And they can provide you a, a good recommendation which one's going to be used. So as much as earlier, CS students, you have to involve really in research. So when there is an applicant and I ask them in in retail because I wanted to. I want to check their analytical skills when it comes to analysis. You don't have to hold in a computer, I just want to read how you do, how you solve the problem. And I just want to see uh, their pseudo code. How, yeah, how they are trying to solve the problem. Because pseudo code doesn't have to be functioning yes. in a uh, computer lab. Ah, so you have to analyze. Yeah, I'm analyzing that one. And sometimes an applicant just like the function. So, so the function, so I asked him, what is the function all about? Mm. And he cannot explain the function. The so I'm, I'm looking for an applicant where he can write a sort of and, detail okay. line by line. So even if it's not uh, perfectly working, then I know that in, at the back of my mind, that's going to work. How is the skill to create solution for the problem? To analyze not the problem. To memorize the whole thing. I'm very good at PHP. I'm very good at C sharp and very good at Java. Okay, they write uh, that is their top three programming language. When I ask them, which one is your top one? They said it's PHP. PHP no longer applicable. So I check why? Because I'm not dealing with just web. I'm dealing with machines. PHP mm -hmm. are just top with machines. Mm -hmm. So if it's a PHP based, uh, they can then yes. no sorry, I'm not using. So. If uh, that one, if I saw 
So PHP, then C sharp, and you know, there's a chance. Mm. So I just, how proficient are you in this language? And they said from one to ten, they said six. Six for me is very high. Oh, okay. But then they went rate themselves to be six. six. Oh. So that's the time. Uh, uh, which one do you which one do you prefer? Is it the C sharp or is it the Java? Then they said this is uh, the C sharp. So I'm going to give them a second question at this point. C sharp. Because I want them to master the C sharp. Now switch from one language to another. So that's what I wanted to have in the industry. If ever, if ever they should have a mastery of at least one language, other languages should be just in it. We've learned a lot from this guy, my classmate, okay. and okay. this is Mr. Joseph Domingo. Uh, okay, thank you so much, Sir Joseph. No problem. Okay, say something before we end this conversation. Well, that. <laughs> Because we share a lot of things. Uh, if you want to be a systems integrator, I advise you to learn with C++ or Java. That's it. Okay, so that's all for now. So thank you, my dear analytics. Bye. Bye. Bye, 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 bye. bye, bye. bye.